Welcome back. I'm your host, Margaret Hell. I'm joined in studio by the magnificent Millie Weaver, who is coming to you via Austin, Texas. Millie, we love having you in studio. She's going to the inauguration, folks, with Alex Jones and Rob Dew and Owen Troyer are going to be in the ground covering those protests. Any words of wisdom for people watching? How do you do it, Millie? That would be my question. <laughs> well, you know, it's very exciting. I'm excited to be here, first of all. This is awesome. Um, not only that, but I'm really excited to be going out to cover the inauguration in D.C., which is fast approaching. I feel like it couldn't be here fast enough. You know, there's going to be a lot of protests that are planned, as well as some pro-Trump groups are going to be out there and a lot of Trump supporters as well. So it's definitely going to be very interesting. And I've enjoyed following Trump throughout his campaigning, as well as um, following Hillary Clinton and seeing all of the stage magic that was used to try and make it look like she had more support than she did. You and I were talking off camera and we were talking about the protest groups that actually were given clearance to protest. One of them is a women's group, uh, as I understand it. I mean, that would be kind of a, not a no-brainer, but you kind of get why they would give them a pass. The other group, do you want to expound on it? You're going to be in the crowd talking to these protesters, I'm assuming, which I've watched you do. I often pen this on Twitter because I love it. And it's something that I, you know, I have a hard time doing as a reporter. I've been doing this for years. And when you go into a protest group, people are screaming. You know, you do it with such grace. You're going to be doing that on the ground next week as well for InfoWars. Yeah, I mean, it can get a little bit nerve wracking, especially when people start to recognize you <laughs> as being associated with InfoWars and they're anti-Trump protesters. And we have all these SJWs that can be easily triggered. So, I mean, it's it's just very interesting. Not only that, but the fact that there is going to be a large woman's group that's going to be protesting. Well, I find it a bit, you know, ironic that you have all these women that are constantly talking about how, you know, Trump is against women and he's setting women back on women's rights. Well, you know, his daughter, Ivanka Trump, she came out and announced that they're actually working toward having paid maternity leave and doing a lot of things that are actually going to be better for women and set them farther ahead in their rights and making sure that their lives are good. So, I mean, it's That's pretty ridiculous. Issue. You're absolutely right. So she was a proponent of maternity leave is something that, you know, impacts so many women because you want to be able to have a baby. You want to be able to afford to have a baby. But then when you have a baby, you're forced to go immediately back to work and leave a small, you know, a tiny infant. Obviously, I don't have kids yet. I've not been blessed with a baby yeah. yet. But I will soon find out, hopefully, God willing, uh, that you, you have to leave a baby. And she's been a champion for women being able to have this federalized maternity leave that allows women to take advantage of tax money that they paid into a system. Uh, that it goes directly to them instead of, uh, let's say, uh, an immigration uh, program that we don't agree with. Yeah. Say, you know, you, uh, you actually have the ability to take on tax money that, uh, that you wouldn't be able to use and stay at home with your baby longer, and especially if you're a breastfeeding mom. Um, and I really like that about her. Also, Kellyanne Conway, a woman that led his campaign. Uh, you talk about somebody, you know, they've been, they've been trying to paint Trump in the media as anti-gay, anti-African-American, anti-woman. Well, let's think about this. He's appointed an African-American, Dr. Ben Carson, to head up HUD. Uh, his his uh, campaign manager was, in fact, a woman, led to his victory. She went to my alma mater, GW. And I really love that, that he picked a woman to do that. And Peter Thiel, who's been very influential, is, is a homosexual. So everything that the media is trying to paint about him, none of it's true. And yet they're yeah. still trying to do it and we have this woman's group that's now protesting him as he's taking as if he doesn't have enough problems you know we covered the intel community and what chuck schumer sh said in an earlier segment that they were going to actually try to sabotage him and take him down we've seen this fake story i mean yeah. i'm sorry for saying it we talked about this off camera millie weaver is such a lady you know we, we didn't even want to say the words golden shower frankly yeah. we're gonna say them on air for you uh but just trying to paint him in such a nasty and perverse way and so much opposition and really all he's trying to do is bring back jobs make sure that the middle class america is sustained and we can feed our families and have prosperity and growth like we've never seen and uh, you know and make sure that our borders are secure and he has been relentlessly attacked for that and I know you've come to the defense in the helm I love watching her yeah. reports we're so honored to have her here because you know there's so fellow few women info warriors let me just tell you right now it is a tough thing to be yeah. able to do it uh, with such beauty is, is also a challenge you know a lot of us are it, it's definitely it's definitely a tough thing, especially mm -hmm. being a woman out covering these violent protests mm -hmm. like the one that I was just at not too long ago in right. Cleveland. So it's going to be interesting. And given the fact that these this woman's protest is supposed to be huge. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a lot of other women there. But at the same time, we've all seen how violent some of these SJW <laughs> women can be. So you take it with grace. <laughs> Millie takes it on the chin with grace. You know, and, and in fact, I, being in, and I've only done this a few times myself, being in a crowd with SJWs and having 
them spit on you and yeah. hurl profanity at you and talk to you like a, like a non-human person. You know, we've covered that frequently. Owen Schwerer does that really well too. And yeah. I want to give a shout out to Owen. Uh, you know, he gets in the crowd of SGWs and he gets spit on and taunted and yet he keeps going and he's able to break through some of those lies. That is not an easy thing to do. Meanwhile, looking like a Victoria's Secret model who has just had a baby, I might have, <laughs> it's really hard to do. You know, people, people take it for granted, but honestly, it is something that is just, you know, you're going to be doing this next week. We want to make sure people tune in. Alex is going to be in Washington, D.C., along with Millie Weaver. Uh, Millennial Millie and uh, Owen Schroyer, Internet News Director Rob Dew. Any highlights that you hope to have on camera, do you think? Well, um, basically, uh, it's, it's just basically what I want to talk about is how it's going to be an insane event. I mean, they have tons of, you know, violent protests planned. And I really think that, you know, Donald Trump, he called out the media today about their fake news <laughs> and how they're constantly just spinning and telling lies. It. And yeah, I'm so glad he did because <laughs> I would, you know, have wanted to do it myself. So I don't blame him. He's done it before at his past rallies, but this one in particular was actually pretty awesome to see. And you wouldn't have these violent protesters out there and these people hoarding the streets with anti-Trump protests if it weren't for the fake news the mainstream media fake news outlets constantly spinning tons of fake news out there and false information which give them a false impression that donald trump is this evil villain and they you know they compare him to hitler all these sound bites that basically the mainstream media talking pundits routinely use it's just when you a lot of times when you talk to these protesters they're literally just speaking verbatim what they're hearing these news pundits say. They're lapdogs for an administration that has hated our country. You know, watching President Obama try to be relevant, try to promote his legacy in these final days and cautioning us with a warning that democracy is in danger. You know, I literally I had tears in my eyes listening to this, tears of joy last night listening to this ridiculous address <laughs> because for the first time, I'm like, this is finally over. You know, we've seen this demonic narrative and, uh, you know, it's just really, it's taken what's the truth and it's made it a lie. And for the first time, I'm actually, and I hate to sound like Michelle Obama. Do you remember the, when she said the first time I'm proud to be, I, I've been a proud American for all my life, but for the first time, I'm proud to say that I support the ideas and the values of a president. And you're going to be on the ground, and I do not envy that. <laughs> Leanne McAdoo and I are going to be on the desk covering this. She's going to be Skyping in. Yeah. And, you know, well, honestly. That's where all the excitement is. It's really going to be exciting to be out there with the people and getting their take on it and how this event is going to be impacting them emotionally and everything else. Do you think that the other groups don't have the permits? Because you said that two groups have permits, so all the other ones presumably yes, um, be as far as Yes, um, the other groups don't seem to have permits. The only ones that do, it, it's the Women's Rights Group as well as the Bikers for Trump Group. Their permits have been approved. However, there are going to be a lot of other protest groups out there that are going to be being violent and, you know, breaking the law while they're out there and they don't have permits and they don't really care to have a permit because they're planning on basically exercising civil disobedience while at the same time, you know, we could see rioting and we could see all kinds of stuff going down. Doesn't it shock you to see the anarchy? And it does for me, you know, looking at people like Don Lemon, who yeah. you know, I don't understand how he's not working for Saudi Arabian television. I, I tweeted this to Jim Acosta, who was called out by Trump today. Uh, you know, how are you not working for a foreign uh, press agent that doesn't believe in human rights because of how ridiculous you are? But honestly, Millie, we are running out of time. Be sure to catch the magnificent Millie Weaver on the ground reporting with Owen Troyer live from the inauguration next week. Lee and McAdoo and I are going to be covering it in studio. You don't want to miss this coming up. Millennial <laughs> Millie next week, along with Rob Dew and Owen Troyer. All right. <laughs>
Welcome back. I'm your host, Margaret Hell. I'm joined in studio by the magnificent Millie Weaver, who is coming to you via Austin, Texas. Millie, we love having you in studio. She's going to the inauguration, folks, with Alex Jones and Rob Dew and Owen Schroyer are going to be in the ground covering those protests. Any words of wisdom for people watching? How do you do it, Millie? That would be my question. <laughs> well, you know, it's very exciting. I'm excited to be here, first of all. This is awesome. Um, not only that, but I'm really excited to be going out to cover the inauguration <laughs> in D.C., which is fast approaching. I feel like it couldn't be here fast enough. You know, there's going to be a lot of protests that are planned, as well as some pro-Trump groups are going to be out there and a lot of Trump supporters as well. So it's definitely going to be very interesting. And I've enjoyed following Trump throughout his campaigning, as well as um, following Hillary Clinton and seeing all of the stage magic that was used to try and make it look like she had more support than she did. You and I were talking off camera and we were talking about the protest groups that actually were given clearance to protest. One of them is a women's group, uh, as I understand it. I mean, that would be kind of a not a no brainer, but you kind of get why they would give them a pass. The other group, do you want to expound on it? You're going to be in the crowd talking to these protesters, I'm assuming, which I've watched you do. I often pen this on Twitter because I love it. And it's something that I, you know, I have a hard time doing as a reporter. I've been doing this for years. And when you go into a protest group, and people are screaming, you know, you do it with such grace. You're going to be doing that on the ground next week.